Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Baby, that is who? What? Okay, so you got a King of Cups reversed that's freeing himself from a situation or is letting go of some type of grudge, letting go of bondage. Maybe he was in some type of karmic situation that he's letting go of. But the fact that he's showing up as the King of Cups reversed is what kind of uh, alarming me. Is he just showing up in the reverse because he's leaving a karmic situation, karmic relationship, institution, whatever this is? Maybe we're going to find out. But someone be careful. There's an emperor that wants to come towards you to confess or have some type of closure with you. But there is some type of malicious intent behind the scenes, uh, behind his intent, because this is someone that's going through some type of loss. It may be emotionally. Maybe this man wants you to choose him as a love partner, but he did use something he leg over you baby girl baby boy behind the scenes and you don't even know it uh so throw it with caution because why this man is coming towards you is to deceive you he's not going to tell you the full truth nothing but the truth so help him source this is someone that's incapable of telling you the full truth or telling anybody the full truth I'm just telling you like it is. That's what, this is what I picked up on. This is what I picked up on. This man may even be hiding the fact that he has a lot of emotions for you. Maybe he didn't tell people why it is. He's been calming after you, sir or ma'am. But it's been illuminated in a community. People are going to find out why it is someone has been doing something to you. Maybe he wants to surprise you at your house, your condo, your apartment or something. You know, where he should not even know that you live or reside. So him showing up there is going to be that, um... Yeah, nobody's home. Even if we are home and watching you on the ring camera, nobody is home. So, someone is absolutely trying to come into your energy to tell you some type of bogus story just to have you caught up in your head. Because someone got out here and self-sabotage, and now this is they think this is the way to balance something out. They're bringing clarity to you to end some type of chapter, but it's nothing but lies, deceit, competition, confusion they're bringing to worship. This is someone that does a lot of manipulation magic okay maybe people don't know this man does magic but let's go ahead and get to this king of cups showing up here in the reverse that is freeing himself from bondage maybe this is someone from your past as well with him showing up in the reverse so maybe this is someone you used to date or someone you had some type of contract with yes absolutely i am being told this is someone from your past this is someone that maybe you were dating and you two may not be together anymore and someone is in remorse because a relationship is over maybe he wants to reach out to you and tell you that he wants to maybe get back together have some type of one-on-one -on -one talk uh, maybe he wants to communicate with you to ask you a question with that three of pentacles. Someone may be emailing you, texting you, calling you, but you know the number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. Maybe the email he's checked, he's uh, communicating to you through is no longer in service or you don't have that email anymore. So he's going to have to figure his, himself out, but someone... Is stuck, stuck in some type of situation, and this is by means of the spirit realm keeping some type of distance between you and this person because someone has not healed. Someone is just freeing themselves from a toxic situation. This would be the juicy bell that maybe they chose F, uh, over you, and now something has backfired. Maybe they're hearing that you have some type of ace of pentacles coming in, so now they don't want to be in a karmic relationship. They don't think the juicy bell is better than you anymore, so they want to come in and say, Hey, remember me? This is when the exes come in talking about did you remember eh, when we fell in love we were young and innocent remember and you're just gonna bust this side eye and then like no sir i don't remember no ma'am i do not remember i'm gonna need you to social distance at least 20 feet and if you come any closer uh-huh we are gonna ask for a restraining order sir <clears throat> okay 
anyways so this person here may be trying to come in to collaborate with you again and I, i'm just saying collaborate because of the three of pentacles but what this person wants to do is come in and ask you some questions uh answer some questions you may have uh about maybe why he did something i don't think you care you don't get to f he's the one that cares he's the one that gets to f's that's the delusion the illusion people be under in these types of communities they think because they care then you care whole time you ain't losing no sleep no sheep no z's you get every bit every night and wake up brand stinking you rip you through the plastic bag honey you're feeling brand new but the whole time they think you're stuck on them this could be someone that was telling people that you were sprung over them they thought you were teeping talking about i'm sprung or she sprung he sprung um, to get me and now the whole time you don't moved on with your life they're the ones still stuck in some type of old bear paradigm thinking that you give to as you don't moved on with your life a whole long time ago and don't care what they got going on in a whole new situation trying to figure out how to live your best life even more better and better and better every day yeah but this person may even be behind the scenes sending you energy trying to block your forward movement trying to block uh collaborations people wanting to connect with you because they want you to be out here feeling isolated and rejected and stuff like that they said no we don't want this person being married i don't want to be happy i told you they're karmic i told you how they treated me they used to lie and cheat on me the whole time it's them that was doing that but now you know mm -hmm, someone had a change of mind they want to call me and communicate. They want to tell you what? The truth. This ain't someone that know how to tell the truth, baby. They're burning about the real truth coming out. The truth, truth, truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help them source, baby. They ain't, no, 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 no. That ain't what they're coming to tell you. Source is going to reveal this truth. There may be someone in their camp that's going to tell you the truth, but it ain't going to be this masculine here. Okay, he may have been trying to take some type of action to come towards you, getting your energy. There was some type of blockage. Uh, ancestors said, I think not. We told you this contract is over. You keep trying us now. Just because this person here was with you does not mean that we won't do you something. We are sick of you. We've been told you. Okay, we're just, you know, leaving you alone because they told us not to bother with you. But you keep on trying. We're going to make it. We, we, we're going <laughs> to. We're gonna make things real interesting for you okay okay this is someone that's very reckless we had some type of sex addiction um maybe you didn't know that when you were with this person this is someone that likes to have options maybe they're trying to let go of their lifestyle now maybe i don't got nothing to do with you wish them well and farewell okay goodbye and good riddance we don't go backwards on this channel people i don't know if you're new here this is your first time watching this channel we don't go backwards we are out here going into the world and having new experiences don't be pick, pick, don't be looking at my thumb because there ain't no nails on there that, my business uh we go out into the world and have new experiences i'm not saying go out here and be reckless i'm saying go out here and enjoy life meet new places new people places and things learn different cultures and things like that i'm not saying go out here go give your pat back and winner to everybody i'm saying make friends experience cultures and things like that you can experience culture through food clothes music arts and things like that you don't always gotta be the backpack and the winner coming together okay the birds and the bees that's not the only way that's not even the way to learn any culture but get out here connect meet people just not the wrong people if they come around you and the vibe is just not there just bombastic eye them bombastic side eye them criminal offensive side eye them internally and just leave it at that when you too disconnect don't never go back around them again <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah listen to your intuition and do the right thing you said nah that ain't one of my people i know you're trying to sound and act like one of mine but you ain't one of my people this is our last time interacting with one another we ain't never gonna hang out again matter of fact don't invite me to no cook out take out nothing celebration don't don't do it but this man here, let's get back to this sorrow. Someone's going through um, <laughs> someone's going through sorrows. Heartbroken. You don't want to go back to the past. He's stuck in the past. You've moved on to the future. You're futuristic. And he's back to he's in he's in the past. I don't even know what to call him. You're futuristic. You say I'm moving on, moving on. I don't know what you're doing back there and i don't care i don't care it don't resonate with me no more but this man is losing 
losing it over you, honey. Someone didn't appreciate you when you was with him. Someone didn't appreciate what you brought to the table. Now that you're gone and the Jesse Bell true, true colors have come out, now he knows who you are. He said, oh, she really was genuine, but I rejected her. And now I got to figure out what the heck to do with this queen of wands. I just want money, 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 money. They don't want to work. They always have their hand out. It's like a freaking peasant, just like a poor person. Hey, don't be talking about poor people. Hello. Uh, don't be talking about poor people. It's like a broke person just living with him. Give me, give me, give me, give me. This could be also someone that maybe you had a contract with and they rejected you. It doesn't have to be someone you dated. This could be someone that rejected you because they were in their ego. Okay? They thought they were better than you because they had a little bit of change in their pocket. So they went with a beautiful woman. Not that you're not beautiful, but they went with her because maybe she was there when you weren't there. Maybe he was thinking about getting with you, but she put herself out there in front of him and wouldn't go away. So he said, you know what? Mm, she's real, she's pretty. She got a nice body. And then he got with her after three weeks. The true color came out. He said, God dang. He said, oh, mango. I got to get away. Keep away from this woman. Because, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nothing going on upstairs. Nothing. Just a pretty face to look at. Whole time you were a pretty face with a mind. Everything. You know the full package. But he said, mm, she don't got no money. The other one present. Yeah, Queen of Wands, I'm telling you. The Queen of Wands presented herself to be something she was not. He saw her. He saw you. He said, she's wearing Dior. She's wearing Goodwill. Or she's wearing Walmart. Tarjay, I'm going to go with Dior. So he thought Dior was what? Wish fulfillment, his equal. He thought that she was, you know, his partner. They were going to get married. She was wish fulfillment, you know, the ultimate fulfillment. They're going to get married and everything. Now nah, look at him. Look at him. Because the truth is out about who it is he's getting married to or whatever this is. Whether they got married, they didn't get married, we do not care. Now he's out here burdened because... Baby, she said, why did I see this before? Oh, 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 that's because you were going after the flesh. You were thinking with your pat pat, your wiener. That's why. Yeah, you were laying, listen, <laughs> you were laying in bed every night, stuck in your head. You said, she got a nice body. That other one seems like a stuck up as heck. They won't even let me touch your hand or nothing. The other one, they just say whatever it is they want to say. I don't know who you are, sis, but someone sees you as a queen of swords. And because she came off as a queen of cups, queen of wands energy, he said, that's the one for me. So he went and invested in her. He was confident that it was going to be very fruitful. They were going to multiply together. And he may have taken some type of reckless action against even you to block your wish fulfillment. And now going through a tower with the whole family and Miss Queen of Cups. Ah! <gasps> of cups you see how the universe be doing it yeah, that's why the universe be telling us like workers calm down calm down we got it we know we don't move as fast as you want us to move but everything has this time in this place now look at him needing rest he's back to thinking and thinking he said that queen of swords that was the right option for me i would have had victory if i would have went with the queen of swords apparently they're the one that's in the upright my goodness my goodness yeah, your goodness, your goodness. Back to our tarot reading. Sir, we can't help you. You are you you made your bed, you lay in it. It's up to you where you want to do what you want to do after that. I think he may want to connect with you. You may have a few masculines that want to connect with you. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, clarity on this three of swords. Uh, I said clarity on this three of swords split my deck. Oh, baby, you don't need no clarity on the three of swords. The three of swords is self-explanatory. Heartbreak, disappointment, crying, just sickness, okay? Setbacks, unable to heal, fighting. There's <laughs> a lot going on behind the scenes. Lots of emotions, emotions, just emotions and commotions. They're burning because two people... Baby, it's been coming out the scene in the reads for the past two, three weeks. Two people are coming together. They will be successful together. Nobody knows when these two are coming together. But right now, it's time for all the secrets to be exposed. What about a queen of one, uh, pentacles? 
queen of wands and a queen of swords, right? Working really hard together to have wish fulfillment, trying to cause a tower for someone else's ten of pentacles. Someone that don't even pay these people no mind, don't even know these people, these women. There's three bitter witches or four bitter witches that just don't know when to stay in their lane. You want to be seen as wealthy? Stay in the wealthy lane. No, 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 no. They've been out here picking fights with people that don't know them. Talking about they can't have no wish fulfillment. And that's why the whole family is going through endings. Why these two are coming together, committing to each other and having this new beginning. So whole emperor. Baby, didn't I tell you all oh, there's an emperor out here trying to sneak someone? It's an emperor out here trying to sneak somebody. Somebody. The emperor said, I'm going to teach somebody a lesson. But then he's all burning and worried because baby. <laughs> <laughs> popos behind the scenes. Maybe the popos know, or there could be a king of swords that moves like the popo, and he knows, he knows. You better not do it. Don't do it. He say, if you touch him, I go touch you. <laughs> oh, queen of swords, right? <laughs> now he wants to come towards you. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways. Someone may be freeing themselves from a queen of swords, the queen of swords in reverse, trying to come to a queen of corpse in the upright. Um, maybe this person wants you to feel like they're advocating for you now and say, I support you. You say, oh, I don't really need your support. The universe is covering us. <laughs> I support you. I've always supported you. Oh, really? Really? You do know that we are high priestesses and we be known the truth? Even the male high priestesses, the female high, just be, because all we do is introspect. Baby, before you come to us, we got A, B, C to the Z lined up. But why you did something, when you did it, who you did it with, how you did it, we already know. But you want to come in and put on a show, Lexi, and we like good entertainment. That's why we're always just sitting pretty and ready. We like good entertainment. Go ahead and entertain us. Baby, I had one with someone today. <laughs> she was... Today, I set it up so nicely. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you all about it one day. But, yeah. This brother's about to be going through a homeless or something. Losing a job. Getting put out of a home. Someone's losing everything. There's a man I used to sit back and say, oh, like his ex or her. If it's a man or a woman, whoever he's dating, whatever he's into. Oh, he's just mad. She's just mad because I got money. And the whole time, the person didn't even know he had money or she had money. You know, it's a king of pentacles, sir. You about to go through it, too. You're all going through it, basically, is what I'm being told. Poverty is the road that lies ahead for a whole karmic community um, for coming up against light workers, trying to destroy people. I'm telling you, whole community being out here just working together to cause a tower. But the whole community is having some type of revelation, some type of truth. It's coming out. It's like, oh, you mean this whole time we've been coming after someone that didn't do nothing? You told us they did this to you. Meanwhile, they don't even know you or never did anything to you. Oh, we don't have with you no more. Someone is about to be seen for the <coughs> clown that they are. Been out here uh, stalking, yeah, stalking someone, invading someone's privacy, trying to keep someone stuck in their mind so that they're not investing in their work and things like that. Uh, Sir, you're too old for this nonsense. When do you all grow up? When do you all grow up? You're all too old to be acting this way. Listen, I'm in my 30s. I don't got time for this nonsense. I don't got time to be out here acting like a freaking child. Just plotting people endings for money. Y you ain't getting the money. Whichever bit you got in the past is accursed. You're about to go through a tower. The whole, man, come on. Listen, you're about to go through it. Maybe there's even a wedding that's not taking place, or if it takes place, it's not going to be very long. Someone's like in their mind, should I marry this person? Should I not? If, you, if you're thinking that way at this stage, because this wedding has been being planned for a long time. If you're with someone in the reverse, in a karmic community, and everyone is trying to talk you into staying with this person, getting married to this person, you know it's something Something ain't right. I'm telling you. You know you need to listen to your intuition. Because you know. If you end up with that person. You're going to be martyring yourself. So you need to reanalyze your choices. Your decisions. Maybe you got with someone because of lust. Okay. Think. And leave that sucker out in the cold. Cut your losses. And sir. 
Run as fast as you can. Don't let them catch you. You're the gingerbread man. Okay? And they're the monsters. They said they're not the monsters. You are. No, 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 sir. They're the monsters. This is you bringing justice in your life by getting the heck away from someone. Nobody cares how way down they may feel because you think leaving someone is going to weigh them down. People need to learn how to be self-sufficient. Okay? People are supposed to compliment one another. Not be a leech. Okay, not be a leech. Someone's been out here pretending to be healed, pretending to be a high priestess, pretending to be all... I'm telling you, sir, you better run. Run, 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 run as fast as you can. Run, Forrest, run! Because you're about to bind yourself to some type of karmic cycle? Who? Baby, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. And there's a thief out here trying to come visit someone. Baby, don't do it. Don't do it because you're going to be standing out that door with the ring camera just watching you. It's going to be you and the ring camera. And someone, the empress or whoever is going to be sitting behind the, that door and watching you move back and forth, move back and forth. Like, look at this maniac. It would be a Sagittarius that's plenty on doing that. Don't do it, sir. Don't do it. <laughs> it's going to be you and the ring camera talking about, it's just me, myself, and I. And the ring camera. Don't forget the ring camera. I don't know if he's trying to go take someone out, plotting someone's ending because he's been getting a lot of money based on the fact that two people are not coming together. It's all fine. This is all about finance and greed. But the man you're trying to block, listen, is if, if it's a king of wands, maybe this man knows the truth. He knows the truth about what's going on. He knows everybody in that community is a goddamn lie. He knows everybody has been doing something behind the scenes. He may not be talking about it. Some, somebody may be taking you all to court. You, you may want to chill. because no, <laughs> You may want to chill. Okay? You may want to chill out here. Anybody. Anyways, excuse me. Whoever the two people are that are supposed to meet, when the time comes, you two will meet in divine timing. Again, this is, this has been coming out a lot. I don't know if there's a man that's in a hurry or a woman that's <clears throat> in a hurry to meet someone. It's not going to happen when you want it to. It's going to happen when you least expect it. You know that one day you're sitting and say, I'm going to go to a quick trip and go get um, some slushies or I'm going to go get some gas or whatever you get for a quick trip. Um, that's when you're going to run into that person. Oh, I'm going to go to... Applebee's or something and get some food to eat or just eat by myself and then you'll run in that person or I want to go Yeah, it, it may be at a restaurant or something something I'm being told that you like to eat which is good I'm not saying that you're a fat person. I'm just saying I'm being told that you like food food is a pleasure for you No, that's good. Food is a good thing. It's good Okay, yeah, they say you like food like if, if, if you you like to eat, I don't know if you cook or something, something like that. But you you have some type of like something with food. Do you cook? Hmm. Whatever it is, you like to go out to eat a lot. Is what I'm being told. Okay. Well, good for you. Um. Anyways, you two will meet to have some type of atonement. Uh, reconciliation, whatever this is, people are heartbroken about this because they know they can't stop you from really doing what it is you want to do at this point. Okay, so, anyways, folks, dang, and you free yourself from these people. Oh, bless your heart. You say you letting go of the devil, you letting go of the toxic ways, everything. Good job. Look at a brother out here doing the right thing. Look at a sister out here doing the right thing. It's hard, in it? I know it's hard. It used to be hard when I started to. I said, ugh. You mean I can't just throw a fit anymore? I actually have to be mature with my emotions and stuff? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, I can't just blame people for my actions anymore? I can't just be out here being reckless and impulsive anymore? Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, I guess I'll get along with this healing process. Anyways, 
Yeah, you'll be okay, sir. Welcome to the other side of the drink. Look at you, look at you, look at you doing your thing. Doing your thing. You say you're freeing yourself, your ancestors, you're freeing your lineage, you're doing the right thing. And yeah, you're doing the right thing. You're balancing this struggle out. Okay, we see you, we see you, we see you. Oh, it came out again for protection from the spirit realm. And somebody is being protected too from a karmic group. They're they're pissed off because you choose to heal. I think when you started going through your healing process, they didn't really take it seriously. They said, oh, he'll be back. She'll be back or something like that. And they're finding out, no, you ain't coming back. <laughs> she said, I peacefully chucks those deuces out. <laughs> I go in peace, but I will never be back. Yeah, he ain't coming back. All they're doing is they're waiting, trying to figure out where did he go? When is he coming? He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. He is not coming back. Yeah, he ain't coming back. This is it. This is it. Y'all know how my, y'all know that my, this is it. Y'all didn't even know. <laughs> when that brother or that sister was leaving, they didn't know it was it, right? Yeah, that, that brother said, this is it. Okay. <laughs> On his tippy toes and everything. Red jacket, red pants, <laughs> black shoes and everything. White socks. <laughs> Uh, I bet these people be pissed off when they watch me. You know, Carmen's, they like to piss people off or they're so easily triggered. You can be having the best day ever and they get bad because you're happy. But let's see, I'm happy. It's someone out here that's doing the right thing with their life. They're turning things around. You can't want, you cannot want better for someone. Someone putting in the work to you find peace. He's about to have that inner peace that cannot be, that peace that passes all understanding where when everything is falling apart around you and you're just like, like I already know I'm good. The powers that be will take care of it. Okay. Whoo, yeah, he's free. There's some type of relationship he was in with a queen of swords in the reverse. He's freeing himself from that. You know, it, it may not have been a relationship. It could have been like a collaboration. Maybe he trusted this woman, but he found out that she was not in the upright. This is someone that's really reckless and impulsive and things like that. May have been working with a king of cups reverse the whole time against him. So he didn't know there was a whole collaboration against him. He thought they were on a team. Um, so maybe he was up against you before and now he's finding out that no, 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 no. They were against him. He was against you. Everybody was against you and him. They were the only ones on a team. He was not part of the team. He was an outsider looking in, participating. Maybe they were using his money to do something. Um, but he's freeing himself from this karmic situation. And we got to applaud a brother or a sister for doing the work. Anyways, hmm. Maybe someone is choosing not to take some type of reckless action. They're choosing to be brave now. They're not being karmic. Out here. Yeah, this man is going through a change. He's going through healing. That's what it is. Some type of communication is going to come in. It's going to cause a tower. Uh, there's a group out here that still may be paying to cause a tower. These people are obsessed with causing endings in other people's lives. But the moment it's time for Source to hand them a piece of of the uh, you know just a little bit of the medicine they said no they don't want it but where are you gonna go this is sources playground you can't go anywhere the source is not going to see you you know maya knows everybody's address even the nomads so yeah um yeah i think this group is going to end up having to move on because something is just it's it's unorthodox something is not principled I don't know what I think these people are just done. They're just kind of done. They're trying to they're, they're, it's like they're trying to cause stagnation to someone's thinking, someone's options, someone's offer, someone's mental. Like they, they're just trying to put an end to everything, and it's not they, they, they're trying to cloud someone's judgment, their mind. They want to confuse him, so he does, that, that man is way too hue and balanced now. He could be going through heartbreak right now because he's realizing he's been working around against the wrong person. I don't know how this man found out that you're someone genuine, but he found out that you're genuine and he wants to balance something out. But thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Princess channel. As always, I will see you in my next tarot reading. Stay blessed.
and goodbye for now.